Hello ladies and gentle frogs, my name is Epic and welcome to my Black Ops 4 weapon guide. Today we'll be covering the Vendetta Sniper Rifle. Making its Call of Duty debut, the Vendetta is a semi-automatic sniper rifle loaded with a 20 bullet mag. This sniper rifle is the fastest firing sniper rifle in Black Ops 4 and is unlocked at level 50 through the tier system. In game, the Vendetta deals a total of 62 damage per round, making the Vendetta a free shot kill sniper rifle. The headshot multiplier however is high and will grant you a one hit kill. Given the Vendetta is a sniper rifle, range does not affect this weapon, therefore your damage per shot is not altered. Reload time is quite reasonable at 1.835 seconds. Rate of fire with this weapon is quick at 435 rounds per minute. Bear in mind that this is entirely dependable on how fast you can fire your weapon. Aim in time with a Vendetta is 0.3 seconds, with Quick Draw taking this to 0.25. Hipfire with a Vendetta sniper rifle is risky as the wide hipfire spread causes for major inaccuracy, and given that we need free shots to hit our target, aiming in will always be the best way to go. The Vendetta has quite an unusual operator mod in the form of a bipod. This bipod attachment allows your weapon to become fully automatic and increases the fire rate to 524 rounds per minute. The only downside to this operator mod is that the bipod only works when you're fully proned out, and given some map designs and the fog of war radar, this can lead you quite open to being flanked, and very few maps offer help when it comes to using the bipod's ability. For our class loadout with a Vendetta, we'll be focusing on the headshot multiplier and utilising this to our full advantage. Creating a loadout that has accuracy as well as precision aiming. First up is the MVIR Thermal Sight. This attachment allows us to see our enemies through a night vision scope. Although cold-blooded targets are easily hidden, the majority of players are still visible and equipped on Arsenal Sandstorm or alongside Spectre's Smoke Grenade, this site can ensure that you'll have the advantage. Next up is Grip. The Grip attachment will aid our accuracy, keeping our shots on level with the enemy's skulls. Our third attachment will be Sight Loader, not only allowing you to aim whilst reloading, but also enhancing your reload down to 1.134 seconds implies you'll be more than ready for the next gunfight, long before your opposition. Stock will be our fourth attachment. Stock allows us to have improved movement speed whilst aiming. Our final attachment will be Stock Mark II. Alongside Stock, Stock Mark II maximises our full movement speed as well as maintaining our aim when jumping, landing, moving and whilst proned out. For our perk selection, Ghosts is helpful for keeping you off the minimap and helping you sneak behind enemy lines. Our second perk will be Skulker, allowing us to move faster when crouched or prone. Skulker will aid our sneak attacks and help when enemies have a head glitch lined up, allowing you to crouch around and land the first blow. And that's our loadout, a precision based quick reloading headshot machine. The Vendetta Sniper offers accuracy in return for its poor bullet damage. However, its headshot multiplier and long range compensate for the weapon's shortcomings. It's all about speed and accuracy, pre aimed to the height of a shoulder's head, and when they peek, their family will know of a Vendetta. Thank you guys for watching, leave a like if you have enjoyed, hopefully this weapon guide helped out. If you want to see more of these then please do let me know down in the description below. I highly recommend using this weapon, I'm having tons of fun with it online. Still haven't hit a quad head, but hopefully I will get that out soon and maybe a little montage. If you haven't seen my Essex Stingray and Ballistic Knife videos, they're on screen now, please go and check them out down below as well. Next I'll probably have the Locus or the Peacekeeper out, so once again, thank you for watching and stay